celebrate Women's History Month by learning more about notable female victories. We're joined by celebrity historian Rafi Andonian with more. Hi, Rafi. Hi, how are you? Good. Yeah. You said you uh, have um, some information about a very, I guess, a well known Sacramento woman, right? That's right. And it ties into national themes. You know, when President Biden mentioned that he was going to nominate a black woman to the Supreme Court, and he did, of course, with Judge Jackson, he was connecting us to Women's History Month, which is this month here in March. And it has a direct local tie in with origins with Luella Johnson here in Sacramento. And I'm going to provide five ways for you to connect with Women's History Month right here in Sacramento. First is change over time. You know, think about women's fashion across time, what their roles in the workplace, how it has changed across the past century. Right. Or you look at the Supreme Court, you know, where the composition has changed from all men to now include nearly half women. And with Luella Johnson is where that kind of begins because Luella Johnson was the first woman here in Sacramento, first woman nationwide to hold elected office. Mm -hmm. So she was part of that change across time. Mm -hmm. The second way to connect with history in, uh, during Women's History Month here in March is to look at context. I have this pen, a yeah. prop right here, that is made of the wood oh. of the tree that witness Lincoln delivered the Gettysburg Address four score and seven years ago. Okay. And when, when he did so, he spoke of the new birth of freedom. And it's that context that gives us meaning. Nobody symbolizes that new birth mm -hmm. of freedom more than Luella Johnston who was elected just one year after California women had the right to vote and eight years before women nationwide were guaranteed the right to vote. So she was really that representation of a new birth of freedom in that era for women in California and across the nation to be able to vote and become full citizens. Mm -hmm. The third way to connect with history in Women's History Month here in Sacramento is to look at contingency change one thing and the next thing changes. You know, we tend to look backward knowing what came next, but that's not exactly how it works. For example, in 2020, had Biden and Kamala Harris not been elected, Kamala Harris would still be a senator here in California, rather than blazing that trail that she did becoming vice president of the country and creating a new norm. And if you think about Luella Johnson locally, going back to the contingency, looking backward, we tend to know what came years later, allowing women to vote nationwide, but that's not exactly how it worked at the time. She didn't know what was to come. Mm -hmm. So that's the value is understanding the contingency of the moment for someone like Luella locally and how she was able to do that, not knowing what came next. The fourth way to connect with history here in March during Women's History Month yeah. is to look at cause. Mm. It's hard to identify causes in history, what caused what. For example, what are the many reasons that the success of women's suffrage happened? What's the cause for that? It takes a lot to study that. And the fifth way to connect with history during Women's History Month is to look at complexity. History is never one-sided. For example, look at the quarter. Today, that quarter on the tail side has Maya Angelou on the back side. But you look on the head side, you still have George Washington, a hero from an era in which someone like Maya or Luella would not have been able to vote. So when you look at that, it realizes or it connects to us. We look at the two sides of the coin and reminds us that there is always more than one side to history when we're looking at the complexity. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for sharing that, Rafi. Yeah. And he's thank got a you. A lot of information and uh, you know history on his website, and it's listed right there on your screen as well. Good yes. stuff. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Take care.